goal scorer for Sheffield is uh, Richard Ward. Both scoring 10 goals in five appearances. That's it. Good stats. Team huddling up there for Sheffield. Sorry, Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> First time I've seen uh, Manchester playing in the grey. Confused me straight to the <laughs> beginning. But yeah, once again, it, it'd be great to hear from your tweets and uh, you'd do any shout outs to the people watching at home. We do appreciate it greatly. <laughs> and as you know, um, the the Sheffield um, manager used to work with Ma uh, Manchester's manager Marcos Leon. Yeah, Daniel Be Daniel Badejo. Uh, I uh, did the interview with him midweek. It was a fascinating interview. So I'm sure they uh, they both know how each other teams play or how they prefer to play. I wonder if they've got any uh, tricks up the sleeve. We've got um, a good turnout today. Quite a lot of people watching live. Hard for us even to see past all these heads. <laughs> um, hopefully uh, a lot of noise as well. Uh, you guys at home will be picking up. No flares though. <laughs> Definitely no flares. We're almost at kick-off. Oh, still the team talk. Referees are blue for it though, but getting the last words out to the players is important. <laughs> Loud and proud, Sheffield. Looks like Hol Holmes is going to be in goal for Sheffield, the number one goalkeeper. Also, so far I can see it's Nascimento, Lation, O'Neill. Obviously, Holmes in net, and I can't quite see the other player at the moment. And uh, for Manchester, Herrera is in, not sorry, not Herrera, Maga Hayes is in net with Sam Richardson, Harold Lumbus, um, Cook, and Bond. Again, we've, we've talked about this before, but Bond and Cook do seem to. Uh, play well together, got some nice movement, nice passing. And for the viewers at home, it's Dan Haralumbus who's playing, not his brother Anthony. Not long now till kick off. And sorry, the other player for Sheffield is Steele. Last change is a uh, last change of numbers for, uh, for <laughs> the Sheffield that we got different stats for. So, <laughs> well, we get all the stats at the last minute. So that's uh, important that we learn, try and learn all the players' names and faces quickly. And it's uh, Sheffield with the kickoff. Very much anticipated game. Probably game in the season it's up to now. Sheffield just keeping the ball. Sheffield's the last game is against uh, Leeds Futsal Club. Um, oh, at home. great save by Maga Hayes. A very good effort from Sheffield, though, and I believe that was O'Neill. Nearly scored. O'Neill getting pressured there by Manchester. Oh. And it's a Manchester kick in, Stuart, Stuart Cook to take. Bond. 
Stewart. Bond. It's unlucky. Kick in. It's a goal kick. Didn't quite see that if you went. It's a goal kick in. I do apologise, it is a kick in. <laughs> <laughs> Bond Richardson O'Neill Late Lation nearly got past his man there but Howland versus kicked it out Nascimento. So well closed down by Manchester there. But speaking to Danny Badeco earlier on, uh, I think he's quite confident that uh, his team can win the league. I mean, it's, it's uh, good for them that they've got uh, a game in hand and they're at home as well, especially with their home records. So, uh, to be honest, uh, the, the odds are, chance of they'll. Um, Win. Whatever the outcome today, that they probably will win at home. No that offense to the back there. Surely it's a booking. Yeah. Lation was away then, but Cook grabbed his shirt and pulled it. Booking already. He's got to be careful now. That's Cook's fourth yellow card. The camp of the season. It's the, and from my statistics, he's the only. Uh, Manchester player who's received the yellow card. Shows that you must have heart. <laughs> heart and passion. Great Nascimento, great goal. What a goal. It's a great goal from Nascimento there. Left foot. Goal for the away side. It's unlucky for Maga Hayes, but that's a great goal. Game on. Just over 18 minutes left of the first half. Bond. I think uh, Manchester need to be need to be smart here and not just try force and look for a goal back because they'll leave themselves open and could easily concede again. Both teams very attacking. You can see that goals just seem to pick the pace up a bit there. I think they're a lot more urgent to score now. Bond getting closed down. Nascimento again. Great save. Nascimento's been a huge threat for Manchester so far. Sam Richardson. A little Just bit too hard. Rolls out. Big long throw up. Straight to the keeper. Bond's now on the ball. And I believe um, I believe Sheffield have made the sub. Richard Ward has come on, the top goal scorer. Great vision from you there, Cass. Oh, unlucky from Bondair. Nascimento now on the ball. Finds Richard Ward. What? Cut to Bond. Back to Bond. And it's a Manchester kick in. Now, was commentators get a touch of the ball? <laughs> Bond with a kick in. Getting pressure down by Ward there. Cook. I think. Um, Sheffield seems to be holding off well here. Howland Bus. Intercepted there by Ward. Richardson have won the ball back to Harold Bus. Cook now on the ball back to Maga Hayes. The speed of this game is incredible. I can't even keep up with it. 
Cook getting pressured there. And it's a Sheffield kicking. As, as you can hear, the uh, atmosphere is pretty immense in the, in the building. <laughs> it's great to see this amount of people here. It is. I mean, we haven't got that. The last Middlesbrough game, there was only Manchester uh, football uh, supporters. Supporters, sorry, yeah. Yeah. But now, uh, I'm in Sheffield and Manchester here. Bond's picked up the loose ball. Back to Bond. That's unlucky. Looks like uh, Garcia for Manchester is about to come on any minute. O'Neill, Nascimento. I think Garcia will be a uh, great uh, introduction for the Manchester. Uh, no Richardson. Yes. Oh, oh fantastic save. Thought it went in from here. It's a great save from uh, Curtis Holmes. The premature there, Cass. <laughs> Yeah, what I was saying about uh, Garcia, he, he did uh, very well last week. Uh, I was buzzing about him a bit when he was running up and down the left flank, so yeah. if he'll be doing it again. That was very unlucky from Manchester. Cook. There's a sub, and I believe it's Dan Haralumbus coming off for Garcia. O'Neill, down the line to Ward. Oh, oh, oh so lost the post. Nice attempt. I think uh, it's going to be a, a tough game for Manchester here. Oh, Richardson, fantastic. that was a great turn. Through, yep. Yeah. Oh, Garcia, that was very unlucky. So again, Garcia right down the left. O'Neill. Getting behind the player. Nascimento. Seeded in a silly mistake. Free kick there, sorry. Nice pass on the back. No, no. Um. And I believe um, Nascimento has been subbed off for Mossadala. Great save by Maga Hayes. And it, oh, fumbled in. Ward has scored. For a second goal for Sheffield. Still time for Manchester to come back in it though. Still plenty of time. We've still got a good 15 minutes. And that was um, Richard Ward's 11th goal of the season. Manchester need, need to make sure they don't concede again. That was a silly mistake to give away. Yeah, it all came from that uh, free kick, which didn't really need to happen. They were only down the left-hand flank. Uh, not really looking like a goal threat. Oh, the foul. Richardson finds Cook. Cook does it. Oh, it's unlucky. Bond back to Cook. Cook. Sorry, um, it wasn't Musadala who came on. It was Adam Alden. And Sam Richardson has now come off for Castro for Manchester. Castro now on the ball. Garcia. Cook. It's unlucky. High, wide and certainly not handsome. <laughs> that was the pass. Oldham, O'Neill, Ward, Sheffield are a huge threat to Manchester, Manchester don't look uh, as confident at home as they've been for the last couple of weeks. Manchester have called a timeout. To be honest, I think that's the right thing, the right call. There are just over 14 minutes left on the clock. I think Marcus needs to sit them down. Well, not sit them down. <laughs> Keep them round and get, tell them uh, the best thing to do. Because they, they seem to be shambles, to be honest. I think it's only been Cook 
Really, he's been trying to get the balls down and play around. Oldham have defended very well. Sorry, not Oldham. Oldham. <laughs> Sheffield. Sheffield. <laughs> Have uh, been defending very well, standing off the men. Not giving them too much room though. Danny Bezeko doesn't look too happy there, although he should be. But as a manager, you're never happy. Not until the whistle goes. Not until that fat lady sings. Wonder whether Manchester are going to make any subs. Teams have broke. And it doesn't look like Manchester ever made any subs. But I believe um, Sheffield have made a sub. Lation has come on. I wonder if uh, it's going to be an introduction of uh, Ovechkin to the, the fields of play. Yeah. He's or a winger as well. He's been uh, playing, playing well for them. It's full season. It's over the top. It's unlucky. There wasn't really much of a threat from that area. Castro. Garcia to Castro. It's a nice ball. And it's a Sheffield kicking. Ward. It's unlucky. Not it a bit too far. Ball over the top. Oh, oh, Garcia scored. 2-1. Sean Bynos on. getting the goal there. Number 16. Come back for Manchester now. Could be on the cards. Oldham to Ward. Well done by Cook there. Took it off his man and won himself a kick, and I believe. Oh, let's give it to Sheffield. Right, Look like that was from Manchester. Look like it come off uh, Ward's foot. Yeah. The linesman fought different. He's played it across. It's elation. There's Marcos Leon, the Manchester manager. Tarek is telling them to push. Castro. Castro now. Finds Cook. Cook! Oh, fantastic save. Great save by Holmes. And, uh, Sheffield have made a sub. Ward has come off for Thomas Masadala. Straight away he's involved by knocking him out of play. Cook now on the ball. Taking a kick in again. And Marcus is weird as has uh, been drilled into Manchester. They seem to be pressing more now. Actually more than uh, maybe it Sheffield. A, maybe it's an effective team talk. Just like that wasn't an effective pass. <laughs> Straight out of play. Steel. For those wondering uh, about the overhead height, overhead height rule in a normal five side, it, it doesn't uh, doesn't work here. You can hit it as high as you want, uh, being careful that you don't knock the lights down. Obviously, <laughs> uh, it looks like uh, Elia Vetchkin's warming up. Don't forget to hashtag Total Futsal to share the live stream with your friends. Also, we have a, an interview with Ilya Vetchkin, the uh, Manchester founder at half-time, so stay tuned in. Vetchkin's also a uh, player. That's uh, Sheffield's manager there. Daniel Debeco. Debeco. Debeco, sorry. I apologise. <laughs> Oh, 
Bond. Great oh, goal. Wow. What a goal. Off the woodworking in. Game on 2-2. And I believe Manchester have made a sub. Castro has come off for Ilya Vetchkin. While Sheffield have subbed Ollie O'Neill for Nascimento, the goal scorer. Game on. Uh, it looks like that goal took a cheeky deflection as it went in. Manchester won't mind. <laughs> Still went in. It's gone out and it's a Sheffield kick in. If anything, it put the goalkeeper off the deflection. Nascimento. Steel. Accepted. Oldham. Oh. Garcia. It's run out of play. Nascimento now on the ball. Plays it over the top. Well intercepted by Garcia. Has to be one of the closest games up to now that I've commentated on. Certainly I've seen here in the Futsal League. I've uh, only seen Manchester dominating every single game. But in this one, so. it's a free kick to Manchester. They'd be happy with that. It looked like they were um, under pressure. Sheffield were. Uh, under pressure, so. Uh, uh. And I believe Bond has now come off for Manchester as Sam Richardson plays, makes his appearance again. Cook to Garcia, Ovechkin. Ovechkin on the ball again to Richardson, back to Ovechkin. It's a nice little play there. Kept it in. Ovechkin now on the ball. Richardson. Ovechkin's picked up the loose ball. Garcia. It's interesting to see that the creator of Manchester football team, uh, Ilya Ovechkin, is playing for the team as well as, well as he's uh, in charge with all the online online information about them and the founder of the Manchester Futsal Club Sheffield have now made a sub Richard Ward the goal scorer and top goal scorer has come back on for Oldham that's a look from Cook Nascimento with a kick in if there's any youngsters out there who uh, want to get into futsal uh, you'll have to just look into um, go on the FA's website and type in uh, futsal to see your local team and uh, if you if you just literally just go on the website I'm sure you'll be able to uh, go out for trials with them and stuff like that and someday you could see yourself being streamed live on you Sheffield have made another sub O'Neill come back on Down the line. Nice little play from Sheffield there. Well defended from Cook though. Last few times Sheffield have been down that left flank. Causing problems. Nascimento. O'Neill. Nascimento. Plays it over the top. Keeping picks up the loose ball. Over the top. Oh, unlucky. Must be hard trying to control it. And the ball comes at you at the height. Manchester have made a sub. Garcia has come off for Dan Harrell and Bus. Just over 10 minutes left on the clock. Richardson. Oh. Outskilled himself there. <laughs> Steel. O'Neill. Nascimento. St 
Good defended by Cook again. A Vietchkin to Dan Harumbos. Oh! Great vision there by Dan Harumbos. With his, uh, his, his brother watching in the crowd. Anthony. Ovechkin picks up the loose ball. Over the top. A bit too much. Which may have heard before. Last time these two playing, these two teams played was at uh, the Sheffield Stadium, and uh, they, they drew four all. Thomas Masardola has come on now for Sheffield. Some fresh legs. He picks and he picks up the loose ball. Oh, that's very nice skill. Looks like it could be a threat. Looks pretty tricky. Agile on the ball. Tricky. Steel now. O'Neill. Marcus's team got back into it after this t his uh, timeout tour. He must be a lot more happier with the uh, Manchester performance now than the first 10 15 minute first 10 minutes, sorry. Nascimento is now coming off for Oldham. Unlucky from O'Neill. Magahay has seen it wide. Richardson. Ovechkin has now come off for Bond. Bond's now on the ball. Richardson. Well defended. Cook's on the ball though. Great save. Oldham. Lambus, the only That's defender up. back now. O'Neill gets past do. him. Oh, that at the post? No, the keeper. Save. O'Neill. Sadala. Oh, very tricky. Bit of a miscontrol there. Just take your eyes off the ball for a second, and the ball's under your foot. <laughs> It's going out for a kick in Bond. Manchester made another sub. Garcia has come back on. Bond. Cook. Well defended from Manchester there. Let him run in out of play. Cook's now on the ball. Sees his run. Richardson. Oh. O'Neill read it. Plays it over the top. Oldham. Been quite quiet for the last couple of minutes. Yeah. No goals. Cook. Ooh. Just about to say you spoke too soon. <laughs> The ball narrowly went wide. I think Holmes would have had it though. That is near post. Steel. Uh, for those wondering uh, why the goalkeepers aren't wearing gloves, if anyone's noticed that, uh, you'll see in an interview later on with uh, Michelle Herrera. What, another Manchester goalkeeper? Uh, yeah, and, and he explains why they don't. Oh, him personally. Goals. Manchester have made a sub. Thompson has now come on. Just as uh, Sheffield make the sub as well. And Lation has come back on. Falls out to steal.
on a kick. Sheffield. Well deflected. It's a Sheffield kicking. Well closed down by Cook. It's another Sheffield kicking. O'Neill, Masadala, Lation, Ward has now come on, oh, great block, fantastic save from Megal Hayes, well deserved as the number one goalkeeper. And um, Richard Ward has come back on for Sheffield. And it's false to Ward. Oh, trying to overhead kick. Thompson now on the ball. Oh, it's unlucky. I remember when I used to try and do overhead kicks. I'd come out of it with a sore back, <laughs> maybe a banged head. wonder if that's the case here. But he seems to be carrying on all right. O'Neill. It's always good for a goalkeeper to keep an eye on the ball wherever it's going. You'll see as the ball gets shot, they, they always they, they watch it every step where it goes. With it being so fast paced as well. It's like watching a tennis game when you feel a footballer. If you're a goalkeeper, sorry. <laughs> Nascimento has come back on for, for Sheffield as Masadolo has gone off. It's a Manchester free kick. With just under five minutes left of the game, first half. Very even first half, I think. Both. Sheffield looked strong at the very beginning with uh, scoring two early goals for then Manchester to come back and equalise. And then uh, the, the chances have been varied just after that. Ward. O'Neill. Now to Lation. Across to Nascimento. It's unlucky. Maggie Hayes picks up the loose ball. Finds Thompson. Tries, tries taking on Lation, but well, de well defended. Nascimento. Ward. Ward is on the ball. Dan Harrell on us has come back on for Manchester. Cook. Can't keep it in. Lation has gone off for Sheffield as um, Oldham comes back on. Both teams cutting out each other uh, very frequently. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes if the first half ends 2-2. Two -two. I think there'll be another goal. I think I think there's going to be another goal and uh, that'll take one of the team's uh, high spiriters through to the second half. Well, who will it be? Don't forget to tweet us at hashtag Total Futsal. We also have um, a little free on free for the for the kids at half time that you that you can watch as well. Fortunately, I cannot play. I asked before if I was able to have a game, and they said no. I'm too bad.
Nascimento with a loose ball. Harlem bus. O'Neill. Sheffield playing some nice football there. Quick passing, short passing. And um, I believe Sam Richardson has come on for, for Manchester, sorry. Oh! Came off the post. Bit of a big collision there. Nascimento with his nearly with his second goal of the game. Looks like he might looks like he's hurt his leg a bit. Surprise. This this hard floor that's uh, not too great if you're sliding or anything like that. Bond. It's Richardson. And it's a Manchester kicking. And um Castro has come on for Manchester. He's now on the ball. And uh, Masada has come back on for Sheffield. But if I pull past there. From Castro. Yeah. Sheffield have called a timeout with 1 minute 45 seconds on the clock, the first half. Daniel, what gonna be, Daniel's going to be wanting his team to pick up the pace a bit more. Maybe for him it. if he goes in half time with the with the with the, um, the lead. Yeah, the lead. Sorry. <laughs> um, don't see why they why they can't. Both teams, both teams deserve it. There's Marcus there talking to his team. And uh, any of you is wondering Herrera, uh, who I was talking about earlier on about the goalkeeper, it's the one with the the white headbands on there to the right of your screen. And that's the uh, Sheffield manager. Ten seconds left to time out. I wonder if there's going to be any changes. Manchester have kept the same squad. And I believe Sheffield have done the same. Richardson, Bond, that's Richardson, oh Richardson, oh just a bit behind him, I think it was just a, a way to get it out of the danger, yeah if in doubt kick it out, that's my motto, have a run on bus, Too, it's a bit too hard. Hold him. Castro. Castro. Bond. Playing into Manchester's ha uh, Sheffield's half here. I've noticed. Uh, oh, Dan Harlan bus and have a nice shot. I've noticed with uh, Manchester with futsal when they control the ball, they don't control it for the side. They always like roll it with the top of the foot, the bottom of the foot. Sorry. Whether that be something with the control, uh, that's the way of controlling the ball. I'm guessing it is. So, so it's uh, important to wear the right correct footwear as well. 
as you've seen, um, the ball went out earlier on. That was because of correct footwear. I don't know what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> Just chatting. Ten seconds left. <laughs> Bond. Richardson. Have a crack. Oh, Alright. And we'll now we'll now hand it over to Josh Lloyd. Two two at half time with goals from Nastastic, Ross Bond and and Stuart Cook. It has been an outstanding half. Personally, I've, I've been here for most of the games this season and there has been a whole another level of pace this season when this game's got, got rolled around. Obviously, if you were watching us against Middlesbrough last week, you could see that Middlesbrough are playing a bit more defensive, a bit more damage limitation, but Sheffield are just going all out to score. It's 2-2 two -two at half time, so hopefully in the second half we'll see even more goals. Coming up now, we've got an interview with Ilya Ovechkin, who is the founder of the Manchester Futsal team. He was the founder of the Manchester Football team and we have an exclusive interview when I caught up with him earlier this week. Uh, my name is Ilya Vechkin and uh, my position is a uh, winger. When did you join the Manchester Futsal team? When was it created? Uh, the club's been created since 2006 mm -hmm. and uh, obviously myself and uh, my, f my good friend uh, Simon, we've created the club about what, six, seven years ago now. So obviously now we've, 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 we've come a long way. We're playing in the club now, playing in the National League and uh, at the moment we're doing well, but obviously we, we want to push for more. How can you get involved in the team for those watching at home? Uh, for us, so just uh, get on the website, uh, manchesterfutsal.com. You've got all the information there. You can all obviously email the, your details at info at manchesterfutsal.com and uh, we'll, uh, we'll be happy to answer all your questions. And Obviously, if, if you're good enough and if you, uh, if you play futsal or maybe you, you're young, young yeah, an inspiring player that wants to try futsal. We uh, obviously our doors are always open, and they can come down and and try try the game. Is there a youth academy uh, set up for the Manchester Futsal team? Uh, I wouldn't call it as a youth academy, but uh, what what the club's trying to do now is uh, uh, we start setting up this uh, Manchester Futsal Club development centres uh, all around the city. So it's just give the young young uh, young players an opportunity to try futsal first of all. And obviously, f from that, uh, they can, can progress it. And perhaps, uh, if they're good enough, they, there will be more opportunities in terms of, like you say, they have a, almost a youth academy for players to, you know, for more talented players to, to join up. But obviously, certainly, we're, we're looking at the moment uh, running under 18s team, and obviously throughout, throughout the whole ages as well. So the one we've got opportunities for. Uh, eight to twelve years old, and obviously, uh, and uh, obviously under 18s as well. But I'm sure, watch the space. I'm sure there'll be more, more, more coming out our way uh, in regards to youth youth system. So keep keep an eye on there. Make sure you log into our website to yeah, to get more information. So I'll definitely do that. Uh, have you played in any international uh, futsal matches? Um, it depends. I, I, I've, we've played in Sweden, you know, in a national tournament. Obviously, I've been playing futsal in Russia since I was the age of eight. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but apart from that, I haven't really played any international games for the national teams. Mm -hmm. so. is, it, is, it completely, is it pace different in Russia or is it exactly the same as it is over here? Uh, in Russia, it's, uh, it's a professional uh, there's a professional league in Russia. Mm. And uh, it's, uh, it's a sport that's been around for about 30 years. So it's a it's a it's a, a different level in Russia. So they have super leagues, and obviously the players come over from Spain. You know they they all professional. They obviously they they all earn a good wage as well. So it's 
obviously on the, on the TV side of it, it's, there's loads of media around it, and it's more of a more of a good product and a package, if if you like, mm -hmm. for futsal there. But I'm sure in England, it's a, it's a young sport here, and I'm sure in a, in the distant future there will be more more stuff coming up this way, and uh, I'm sure futsal will be uh, as big as here as it is big in Russia. And with you being a winger, is it important to communicate with your players, especially because you're giving them free balls and stuff to score? You come very close the other weekend against Middlesbrough. Uh, you had a couple of chances, so is it important for you to communicate with you with the rest of your players on, in, in the team? Yeah, of course. Fudzo is, uh, is, is, is a game that the f if, if you like, if four or five players, including the goalkeepers playing, all of them have to play t together. And uh, if one, one player doesn't understand each other, then he, that five players will obviously will crash and, and, and it's easier to score against. So it's communication, I, I say, is, is really important in football. So I think we have a good understanding between ourselves. You know, we've, we're good friends off the pitch as well. So, you know, we always, uh, you know, support each other on and off the pitch. So I think there's no problems there with the communication. But like you say, you've pointed out a, a good point there. Communication is key. So, yeah. Okay, that is it. Ellie, thank you for joining right, us. No problems. Thanks a lot.